your bags and we'll take you around the world and back and inspire you to explore. All work and no play, you say? Then put down the school books and lock up the office. It's time to run away with Explore to the best, brightest and most loved theme parks in the world. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. That's what Mickey Mouse believes, and he ought to know. Mickey was Walt Disney's dream over 50 years ago, and a trip to Disneyland in Anaheim, California, is still every child's dream. Walt Disney wanted to create a fully interactive, three-dimensional experience where guests could see, touch, and party with their very own fictional heroes. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. On 160 acres of Orange County farmland, Disneyland, the world's first theme park, was built and opened to the public in 1955. Walt Disney, already a successful Hollywood animator, had a concept that was grand in scale and yet simple in aim. It was to be a place where parents and children could play together, a magic kingdom where fantasy, escape and just plain fun were the only rules. You can now enjoy a park that covers 430 acres and employs over 20,000 people. In 1955, the park opened with two dozen attractions, including the Sleeping Beauty's much-loved castle. Now, they're 60. Although the big draw card is still the iconic fairy tale castle. And the cuddly characters, of course. Americans are working longer hours than anyone else in the industrialised world. They also have comparatively shorter annual vacations, an average of only two weeks a year. A place like Disneyland provides a licence to play and a liberated sense of time in an otherwise hectic year. So if you need a serious escape and some quality time with your children, you can visit two separate theme parks here in Anaheim, the classic Disneyland and Disney's Californian Adventure. The kids will love Disneyland and you'll enjoy the extended range of live shows, shopping and dining opportunities of the adjacent park, Disney's Californian Adventure. And to avoid work altogether, you can stay at one of the park's three hotels, including the luxurious Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. Then it's only a short stroll or tram ride to the heart of downtown Disney. A good time to visit the popular resort is midweek if you want to avoid the crowds. And to avoid any tears on the way back home, you'd better allow four days to cover most attractions of both theme parks. It's minus 20 degrees. The biting bone dry air could freeze the smile right onto your face. Still wanna come outside and play? A million people every year do just that, here at Harbin's annual ice festival.
Play is what we do when we're not eating, sleeping or working. Play is described in the dictionary as a non-serious activity. Not so here at Dreamworld. Guests to Dreamworld are very serious about the business of fun. Dreamworld is on the Gold Coast in Australia, about 40 kilometres south of the Queensland capital of Brisbane. It's open every day of the year except Christmas Day and the Australian public holiday Anzac Day. Summer on the Gold Coast from December to February is set at a sparkling average temperature of 25 degrees. The Gold Coast, with its stunning beaches and theme parks, is the most well-known family holiday destination in Australia. Of the several parks in the region, if you live to ride, you'll choose Dreamworld. It's the park for thrill-seekers who love the ear-splitting, stomach-churning, adrenaline-pumping good time of a near-death experience. Dreamworld has one of the world's tallest, fastest roller coasters, the Tower of Terror, and the tallest, fastest vertical freefall, the Giant Drop. Theme parks like Dreamworld are designed for all the family and children under two are usually free. Nowadays, companies in the amusement business prioritise safety above everything and as far as records show, theme parks around the world have never been safer. You can avoid the crowds by planning your day of fun before or after the peak hours of between 1 and 5. If you like your playmates with big sharp teeth and weighing in at 200 kilos, then you'll love Dreamworld's Tiger Island. Here, the endangered Bengal and Sumatran tigers and the beautiful and rare white Bengal tiger perform with their handlers twice a day before dazzled audiences. The tigers enjoy the stimulation of showcasing their natural behaviours and agility and as an added bonus, they're helping to raise funds to save their own species. Dreamworld in Australia also offers educational programs that give children a hands-on experience with native Australian animals. The programs are interactive, informative and fun and promote a greater appreciation of native Australian wildlife and the universal need for conservation. You can feed the kangaroo, learn all about the breeding habits of a hairy-nosed wombat. And before you go, try cuddling a crocodile. With perfect weather all year round, this is a carefree family holiday from planning to finish. And you can get surprisingly inexpensive transfers from any hotel on the Gold Coast to any of the theme parks in the area. Far from Dreamworld, you can find SeaWorld, Australia's premier
have you had enough fun? Had enough of rides and shows and cotton candy? Well, if there's one place that does excess with success, if there's one place where you can never get enough amusement, even if you wanted to, it's Japan's biggest theme park, the $2.7 billion Tokyo's Disney Sea. Disney Sea is located next to Tokyo Disneyland and is distinguished by its ocean theme. It's all things watery. Here you can set yourself adrift through the historic places, the fictional stories, the seafaring characters and the awesome ocean vessels of our nautical past. You can take a leisurely cruise on a transit steamer through the Lost River Delta. or plunge to the bottom of the sea as a member of Captain Nemo's crew. This ride, inspired by the writings of Jules Verne, the father of modern science fiction, takes you into the watery depths of the writer's imagination, encountering shipwrecks and sightings of strange deep sea monsters. The Japanese have a special fascination with the sea, which surrounds the country and its islands and has fed the Japanese mythology. From here, you can sail on to the Arabian coast, home to Sinbad, the most famous sailor in history and now a much-loved Disney character. on Sinbad's storybook voyage, joining the hero and his loyal tiger cub Shandu on their epic adventure. This ride is part of 33 attractions over 176 acres in a park that draws about 17 million people a year, far more than any other theme park in the world. Why not try a relaxing ride along the Venice-like waterways of Mediterranean Harbour in an authentic gondola? Touched by the sheer romance of the situation, your gondola may even entertain you with an opera aria or two. In Japanese, of course. But if it's speed you want, mind-blowing supersonic G-force acceleration, in short, if you want to fly, then it's Dodompa. Dodompa, which means the sound of a racing heart, is the world's fastest roller coaster. Its designers wanted to create a ride that felt like a rocket being launched into outer space. It took 2.42 million US dollars to do it, and it works. The ride is the main reason guests sign for a visit to Tokyo's Disney Sea theme park. How wet you want to get at Tokyo's Disney Sea is entirely up to you, but you may need to take a change of clothes. When riding the world's fastest roller coaster, Dodompa, it is advised that you remove hats, bags, and glasses. You have been warned. If you think imitation Venetian canals and cheesy floor shows sound like counterfeit fun, you may be after a more valuable experience. Skyrail Rainforest Cableway in Cairns, Northern Australia is a world first in environmental tourism. From the Skyrail, you will get a cloud's eye view flying over thousands of hectares of one of the last truly unspoiled rainforests in the world. Australia's tropical rainforests stretch over 500 kilometres along North Queensland's coastline and are the oldest continually surviving rainforests on Earth. Can Skyrail provides a comfortable six-person gondola designed to glide just metres above the forest canopy. The excursion covers seven and a half kilometres and takes around two and a half hours for a round trip. Being so close to the sights, smells, the cool lushness of the rainforest, at times you'll even feel part of the primitive paradise.
rainforests like this once covered the entire continent of Australia. Now rainforests cover less than one thousandth of the country's total landmass. Cairns Skyrail Rainforest Cableway is just 15 minutes drive from Cairns and around 50 minutes south of the stunning holiday destination Port Douglas. Now a World Heritage listed site, you can follow through your exploration of one of the most botanically fascinating and ecologically diverse areas on Earth by a visit to the Learning Centre. You and your children can learn about the park's 395 species of rare or threatened plants and all about the extraordinary fauna, including the rare butterflies and the world's most primitive tree kangaroo. Cairns can be impossibly humid in the summer months, so plan your trip to escape during winter from June to September. No, it's not yet time to pack up the toys. Here's a little fellow that always brings out a sense of play, especially in his young devoted fans, Thomas the Cheeky Tank Engine. These children in the Netherlands are getting a special treat. Thomas, who is usually at home on the imaginary island of Sodor, has made the trek overseas to meet more of his adoring fans. Thomas and his friends sprang to life as bedtime stories told by Reverend W. Audrey to his ailing son Christopher over 50 years ago. The result was a hundred simple moral tales about the importance of good manners, hard work and the true joy of being really useful. Thomas, considered the best known fictional locomotive in the world, is based on the Class E2 trains built for the London to Brighton line around 1915. You can actually board Thomas and his engine friends Edward and Henry here in the Netherlands at the railway station of Simpelveld. This is sure to be the ride of their young lives, and I imagine Thomas is going to enjoy it too. He loves to do things he's proud of, even if no one notices. The Neen Valley Railway at Petersburg in England was the first to run a full-scale replica of Thomas, but here at the Dutch station at Simpelveld, you can tell your friends you enjoyed a staged performance led by the Fat Controller, and then went on to ride through the charming Dutch countryside pulled along by Thomas himself. You could tell your friends, that's if anyone would believe you. The best way to enjoy the Netherlands is to rent a villa in the Dutch countryside. The area around Simpelveld has green meadows, roaming deer and splendid lakes. Thanks for taking the ride with Explore through the best and brightest theme parks and attractions. See you next time when we welcome you aboard again on Explore.